Next we're going to look at a digital scale. This happens to be Hornaday's model. Um, digital scales are becoming more and more popular in reloading. Some of them are much more sophisticated than this. They can include the actual hopper for the powder where you calibrate it, set a load, test it, and once it's um, refined to the point where you want it, you simply hit a button and it will actually meter the powder into the pan, weigh it, and then stop it and signal you that it's done. You can pour the powder into a cartridge case and then return the scale, push the button again, and it'll meter out the next load for you. It has to slow down in the final stages of, of dropping the last few kernels in it, so it's not as fast as it sounds like it would be. It's not a question of uh, every few seconds, for instance, being able to dump a load of powder, but it is an automated process that can be operating in the background, which can give you some efficiencies. This is a more mechanical or, or more hands-on approach to this, but it is a digital scale per se. In the box, there's a scale, there's a, a tray for the powder, and then there's a calibration weight. These are very simple to use. Remove it from the box. There are permanent instructions printed in the lid, so you can't forget them. They're easy to calibrate each time you want to use it. You simply follow the instructions that are printed in the cover to turn it on. Uh, this can be cycled with the mode button through grains, grams, or ounces. You want to make sure you're on grains, which is the symbol GN. For calibration, you simply hold the mode button for this particular unit, it will print the words CAL for calibrate on the, the screen, and then it says to push the button again until it flashes, and as soon as it starts flashes, you put the weight on it. It happens to be a 100 gram weight. It doesn't matter that we're set to uh, measure in grains, it knows during the calibration stage it's expecting to find a 100 grams. So this found the 100 grams, the scale will tell you pass or fail, this said pass, it then goes, it converts over to the um, measuring scale, so it's actually measuring this 100 gram weight at 1,543.5 grains, which is correct. When you take the weight off it, it goes back to zero. So this is zero now. When you put the pan on it, it's going to weigh the pan. So the pan weighs 135.4 grains. Very simply hit the tear button, subtracts the weight of the pan, and you now have it zeroed out, not counting the weight of the pan, and ready to put your powder in. If you want to be doubly cautious, simply take your little weights, and this will verify <clears throat> that you're in the right ballpark and you have the right setting. Uh, for instance, if I take a two grain weight out of this little tray and put it in here, this will weigh exactly two grains. I can add a one grain, it will weigh three grains. I can add the half grain, it will weigh three and a half. So I know I'm in the right uh, right place, that I'm measuring the right amount, and I can uh, either use a dipper or a trickler or a combination thereof to put the powder in that pan until it comes up to the right amount. Now, with regards to accuracy, you would think that the electronic scales would be potentially even more accurate than the manual ones. But think for a moment about uh, exactly what we're doing here. In, in the case of the electronic scale, this is only accurate to a tenth of a grain. Now, that's accurate. However, think about this. As you're adding powder kernel by kernel, this has to get up to more than halfway over the next increment, which is the next half uh, tenth of a grain before the scale will read one more tenth. Um, so this is going to be accurate to plus or minus a half of one of those tenths of a grain. On the other side of the coin though, with the balance beam, if you have this with a, a load that is exactly balanced, even adding a few kernels of powder or taking a few kernels out will actually change this. So in a sense, properly used and properly calibrated, you could argue that this is actually even more sensitive to this, although it's not terribly relevant in reloading for the simple reason that a tenth of a grain is about, uh, especially for a beginner, it's about as fine a weight as you're going to be able to manage, and it's absolutely close enough for the reloading process to keep you uh, very safe, especially when you're starting at starting loads to have uh, your powder accurate to within plus or minus a tenth of a grain.